welcome back to my channel uh, previous video we, uh, we discussed about uh, how to create the database and how to take the backup and how to schedule the backups and how to perform the patching and upgrade now this video where we are going to talk about uh, how we are going to delete the database and how we are going to uh, create the database from backup okay we have successfully done the previous video you can you can follow my previous video then you can understand more okay let's go ahead and delete the database now i want to delete this dev sales postgres database let's click on this one go to the action uh, if you can say stop it's going to stop if you say reboot it's going to reboot if you say delete it's going to delete okay there is one more option called create read replica what is mean let's if i create a read replica let's say what is going to happen okay if we create a read replica what is going to happen uh, it's going to create a read replica database as well but you need to fill all the details again here okay so what is mean by read replica means read replica is nothing but the same database is going to is a real replication database so you can connect this database but you can't connect the multi agent other availability zone but replica database you can happily connect when you create the database okay you need to fill the, all the details you need to fill the, all the if you scroll down all the you need to fill the, all the details okay once it's completed you scroll down below let's say submit it will automatically get the read replica database you can keep it anything it doesn't matter the same way when you create the read replica database we'll get the same endpoint again if you come if you see here if you come the same endpoint again it's a different name but the replica name you want to keep like let's say for example i want to keep a dev and sales and postgres hyphen read replica iphone replica the, the name will come like that the naming conversion it depend upon the your your, uh, your understanding purpose you can keep it any time doesn't matter okay that's why we want to uh, that's how we have to create the read replica okay now uh, now what we are going to do the same process how we create the database the same process nothing is going to change okay i'm going to skip that one okay, i'll go with proceed with the, okay uh, okay if i if i say delete okay uh, if you, there is there a few more options take snapshot we already discussed uh, restore restore to point in time what is restore point in time? let's say for example your database is crashed at 10 o'clock i want to restore my database 9 30 or 9 40 in that case if you select this one it automatically restore the uh, if you click uh, if you click on this restore if you click on the restore to point in time point in time means we are going to restore the database specific point of time okay that is called restore point in time if you click on here yeah you can see here, here we have to mention okay we can go latest store we can go this point of time it's our it's a amazon itself only is going to say rds okay until this point of time only we are going to restore we cannot go beyond that okay that is the restore point if you want to say specific customer point we can say if you click on this one we can say specific point it doesn't matter if you have okay we can fill the details at amazon is recommended to go with the latest restore time available or if you want to go custom also you can go okay if you scroll down below okay again uh, we are going to fill all the details okay if you come down below what is the this is the source db instance i'm going to keep it as a new db instance okay let's say come for example i will keep it as a dev sales siphon okay you can keep it as a point and time you can keep it doesn't matter okay so we have to fill all the details again again uh, we have to fill the the same thing the only thing which we are doing we have to fill all the details the only thing which we are doing just to restore in the database specific point of time what will happen is something if somebody did any mistake will drop in a table okay i want to go back to the next uh, 10 minutes back to database in such, such scenario so we don't want to delete this database we are going to create the database from based on the restore point okay the, by the time the existing database you are not going to touch anything it will going to create one more database if the table is available we are happy okay such a way okay i don't want to go with that one at the moment okay okay let's go ahead and do migrate snapshot means uh, it's, we are going to convert the uh, uh, worker engine from one version to other version okay the same way post goes to mysql such a way we have to do migrate to snapshot okay i'm going to delete this one okay let's go ahead and delete them we have automatically come the final snapshot okay let's keep it as a uh, enter here deletion okay if we enter here okay De sorry delete if you say delete me sorry delete me if you say here delete me okay if i say delete okay what will happen you can see you can see status is going to change to delete 
yeah you can see status is going to delete okay now this delete it will take 10 minutes of time uh, it will take uh, hardly 10 minutes of time okay let it watch that one after 10 minutes database is going to delete okay you can see uh, snapshot name why well, because this is manual snapshot you can see dev okay what is what is going to happen okay now we want to restore the database from backup okay this is the okay these are the backups available now I, I i'll go ahead and share this this backup you can pick up anything i'll go with this one latest one okay if you see i want i'm going to create the database from this one okay so what is going to happen let's say for example if you want to delete the for example specific backup okay if you select this one okay so let's go ahead and uh, delete the snapshot okay you can't delete the system snapshot why because uh, uh, there is a db running and you can't delete at the moment why because retention period one we have to wait okay let's go ahead and do okay reach to the snapshot okay if we select the export to my amazon s3 we are going to export this same uh, snapshot to amazon s3 so that is we'll talk about uh, s3 storage what is s3 storage that is object level storage we'll talk about little later first what i will do copy snapshot means if you say copy it's going to create one more snapshot with a different name okay for understanding purpose okay if it doesn't matter just we are going to rename the snapshot but it's not going to change the existing snapshot it's going to create one more snapshot that is extra storage for us if you say restore snapshot okay now what we are going we are going to create the one more database from backup now what is the database name earlier dev wife and sales something now we are going to create with a different one i'm using the same postgres engine postgres engine version it won't change and other thing which thing which one thing you need to understand when you create the database snapshot the engine version should not change okay it won't show us for us also select the engine version why because what is this the backup what is the engine version available for the particular database the same version we are going to create okay if you want to upgrade the uh, engine version again we have to create the database and upgrade the database that's a different process okay the same process which we discussed about earlier okay here i'm going to keep it as a now we created with the dev now i'm going to create with the okay uh test sales postgres I'll, create, I'll go with the i'm going to create in the database from dev to test okay if we come down all the way uh, if we come down all the way fill all the details okay the same uh, we need to fill uh, again we have to select the availability zone i'll i'll go with this time to be available to zone it doesn't matter you can go with anything okay uh, this is sufficient uh, all the things which we discussed earlier previous video if you can follow my previous video you can understand i'll uh, i explain all the things one after one the same thing again we don't want to do okay let's create the uh, restore the database okay now we can see uh, now we can see now we can see this database is already deleted dev now we, we have uh, one more database is creating this will take some this will take uh, 10 to 15 minutes of time 10 minutes of time let's see so this one is uh, deletion is programming this one is is creating let me pass my video then i'll come back to you now we can see uh, uh, now we can see database got created successfully now we can see uh, database instance class running with different one now what we're going to we're going to change the instance class for the database one then how we are going to change let's see okay we have created a successfully database from backup now i would like to change the my instance class if we say modify If you click on what, let's scroll down below. Let's scroll down. I want to go with the default one. Okay. If I click on this one, I'll go with the DB T3 micro. Okay. Now I'm going to now it was created the database standard class. Now I'm going to best class. Okay. So if I scroll down all the way, if I say okay, say continue. Okay, you can see division is changing from the this one to this one. This one is have a more CPUs and more resources, uh, more CPUs and more memory this have a less one okay that's why we are that's how we want to change the db instance class from so you just want to i just want to show you how we need to scale up the instance memories and resources how we need to scale down okay if you click on this one you can see if you say modify see this will take this will take few minutes of time 
you can see now the uh, modification is in progress. Once the modification completed, what we'll do, uh, what I'm going to do, uh, so I'm going to, now we are applied the patch. Now we are going to upgrade the, now what is the version which we are using at the moment? We are using from, uh, what is the version, engine version at the moment we are using. If you go and see configuration, we can do it in 10.3. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the engine version from 10, now we're using 10.13. Now I'm going with 12.1. So we have latest is 12, I think. So we'll pick up that one. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll see how I'm going to update the instance classes from 10.13 to 12.2, the latest one, which is available for 12.1, okay? So let me pass my video. This will take five minutes of time. Once completed, then I'll go back to it. Then we'll proceed with the DB upgrade, okay? <clears throat> Now we can see uh, database uh, instance class changed from M5 large to DBT through micro. Okay. Now status is available. You can see the instance class here. Now the database you created with earlier we created with the database one year. Now we created the database two B. Now what I'm going to do? Now I'm going to uh, upgrade the database from uh, 10.12 to 10.13 uh, to uh, tall C latest available. Okay. Let's go ahead and modify here. So before that, uh, always we recommend to take the backup. That's a uh, uh, always best practice. Take the backup. So anywhere, okay, any environment. If something goes wrong after upgrade, so application won't work, we have to revert back. Okay, please make sure we have to take the backup. Yeah. Okay, if you, if you click on, uh, if you see uh, after that, we can see 10.13, you can see, we cannot see below that one, 10.13 uh, available. Now I'm going with 12.3 uh, R1, okay? If you click, uh, select this one, what is the engine version which you want to go to the, okay, upgrade version, okay? If I come down, the, the fields doesn't want to change anything. Let's scroll down all the way. If you say continue, we don't want to worry about all the things. Let's say continue. You can see here, engine group is going to change at the same time parameter group. Why? Because parameter group, each version have individual parameter group. Okay. Why? Because each database have a multiple parameter. When you create the database with a different version, obviously the database have a different parameter, which is part of the uh, the version okay when you go to the database higher version they'll come up with different features that's why obviously by the time also the parameters also is going to change that's why it's going to change instance like 10.132 uh, the, the new value 12.3 the db parameter is going to change from uh, postgres 10 to postgres 12 okay i don't want to go with the schedule maintenance window i want to go with apply immediately i'll go with immediately let's say immediate modify Let's wait for the status has to change for the upgrade. Yeah, you can see database upgrade progress. This will take, uh, I think, 30, 40 minutes of time because we are going to the major version. It's not, we discussed about patch that will take uh, 10 minutes of time. This upgrade, obviously, we are moving from 10, 10 point, uh, 10G release to 12G, uh, 12G release. So this obviously it will take uh, around 40 to one hour of time. So I hope you guys may, uh, I think that's all from my end. I think I hope you, the same day, once you complete the upgrade, it'll automatically change the instance class. We can go ahead and see the, uh, we can we can see here, uh, we can see going to go to here. Uh, it will take 40 minutes after that, it will go into change the instance version from 10.13 to 12, okay, the latest one. Okay, that's all from my end. Uh, uh, I hope you guys like my video. I, I, I would recommend to please watch my RDS both videos and my previous video also, which is available Terraform and other AWS workshop. Okay, I hope you guys like my video. Please do subscribe and uh, uh, so if you have any doubts, please uh, do comment section. Uh, I'm happy to respond. Thank you.